Hey Scott from Scotch Reviews. I do camera and speaker reviews. Sometimes I do electric bikes, it seems. But I was sent this bike for a review. So I'm gonna unbox it. Ride it. Take a look at it. See if it's good. See if it's worth the price. And let you know my thoughts. So let's go. All right, first up, we're gonna unbox the bike. Been watching too much of Russ Cook. Ones and twos, boy, ones and twos. As we unbox this thing, let's go through some of the specs of this bike and what how it stands out from others. First off is the price. The price right now, currently, as of this date, as of May 16th. Instructions, pedals, tool. That's cool. Allen wrenches, wrench itself. There we go. Slowly open it up. Just got to get her started. See so all the different tools it comes with. Several Allen wrenches and a wrench and a screwdriver. Phillips head. Power cord to charge up the bike is $309 on sale. One of the main benefits right away is going to draw you to this bike is the price. Don't be scared about the price versus quality. After using this bike for the past day or two, it is made out of good construction. So far, it's been great. So don't worry too much about that. I like that most of it's already pretty much put together. We're just kind of like, it's got a light. Nice. We're just kind of putting the finishing touches on it. Mileage and range on this thing after a full charge. Uh, with pedal assist, they're, at, they're talking about 21 miles of range. And if you just sit there lazy, you don't want to pedal at all, and you just use the electric, you're going to get about 15.5 miles of range. So the first thing you put on is the pedals. I want to use this tool here to kind of put everything together. And then we'll go ahead and use the wrench to tighten her down. It's got 350 watt motor, 7.5 amp battery. It's got front and rear disc brakes, which is pretty nice. This is cool back here. You could assemble your own type of basket or something if you're actually using it to transport stuff and you need a little place to put a bag, a little something like maybe your delivery guy, cooling bag or a warming bag to keep the food warm. Got the seat on. Now let's figure out this part right here. So I'm gonna screw it into Hello. I'm going to screw it into that one right there and that one right there. Let's use that tool. A toy lefty Lucy. Comes with lights. It also has a headlamp and rear lights. And the rear lights don't just stay on all the time. Actually, when you apply the brake, the lights come okay. on like they do in a normal car. That's on. It keeps the mud from hitting me in the face. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up, the light. All right, we got seat on, we got pedals, we have lights, we have mud flaps. I don't see anything else that's loose. So the next step is to charge her up before we take her out. It looks like it might be charged already. Oh boy. For I kill myself. Pedal height is 122 millimeters. Uh, it is a 14 inch bike. It's got some juice. That's full speed. All right, so we're gonna drop it around now, get some shots of the, of the bike in use, uh, and then we'll come back and wrap this thing up. Safety first, my friends. Take a little brakes work. Pedal assist, so I just give it a little, little gas and uh, helps me cruise along. The bike weighs uh, 44.75 pounds, so just go ahead and say 45 pounds. The load capacity is 265 pounds. The all electric. It advertises a, a top speed of 15.5 miles per hour. Pedal assist. Yeah, I like that. So it looks like with pedal assist, right now I'm not even touching the gas. And I'm getting a lot of assistance with this, so. When accelerating mode, please press the button to activate cruise control and press it again to deactivate. All right, let's try cruise control. Pressed it. Yeah, look at that. Look, mine, only one-handed. So it says press the button again to deactivate cruise control. What I want to know if I 
if I break, if it continues to activate, I think it shuts it off. So if I activate the cruise control and I hit the brake, it shuts it off. Okay, I'm gonna turn on the power on. Oh, power. All right, you guys see me? Try to give it some juice. Ho, ho, ho. Look at that, full speed. All right, so far, first impressions, I'm impressed. It's a pretty decent speed. I mean, it's nothing gonna be like uh, doing wheelies, but this is a smaller version of all their bikes. So we'll test it out more. See how long the battery really lasts? That's the main thing I wanna find out. And uh, yeah, and then I'll put it back in my Jeep. See how easy it is to fold and unfold and put it in and out of your car. Because if you were commuting and that's what you're gonna do, commute and then take the bike the rest of the way, you gotta need to know how, how it folds up. No, come in. And it's IP54 water level resistance. Basically, don't let the back tire go too deep inside of the water. Also, on the frame itself uh, is where you plug in to charge the battery. Uh, you want to make sure you plug that cap back on because it is at a level where water can get into that area. So you want to make sure you put that cap back on. Pretty important. The charge time, uh, they advertise fast charging between three and four hours, which I've looked around at other bikes on Amazon and stuff like that, and it's about an hour less than most bikes for charging up. One thing that I did ask the company to come out with is, how about some instructions to put the bike together? So the bike is well put together. It's easy to get out of the box, to set it up, not a big deal, a couple screws and you're good to go. So it's not a big ordeal to put this bike together, which is great. Uh, but I would like some instructions just to make sure you're doing everything right. And also I had to relook really inside the manual to make sure I was putting that front bracket on the correct screws. That's about the hardest thing you have to do is unscrew and screw a screw back in to get that uh, mud flap mounted correctly on the front wheel. All right, a couple things to highlight. Again, to turn the light on, figured out the button that you basically turn on cruise control, then hold it back in for another 45 seconds light to shut off. They don't One, come on automatically. Two, three, four, four seconds. Hold down that button for four seconds and the light comes on. Good to know. So what you wanna do is do your own research. Go out and look at Amazon. There are some other companies out there that these bikes kind of match. Make your own judgment. Look at the price that they're charging. Pair some of the specs. This will either beat or match most of those smaller bikes that are out there but the price is gonna be a lot cheaper than most. So check out Costco, check out Amazon, do your research. Don't just take my word for it or any other YouTube word for it. Do your research, but you'll see that the price on this is very competitive and beats most other companies that are out there on a bike at this size. Now, who is this bike good for? I'd say people that are wanna to go to college, stuff like that, want a minimal experience of get around campus, that kind of thing. If you're living in a bigger city, and you can only drive to a certain location and then you have to like walk for long distance to get to, to your office. Maybe you already thought about this, but take a bike in the back of your car, pop it out, get to your location, fold it down, bring it in, store it somewhere, and then get back to your car. All right, so if you're gonna put this in your car, which I transport it, the main undo is right here. Um, you could take the pedals off if you wanted to and then take off the, the seat to kind of get everything flat depending on what kind of space you're dealing with. You just pop this here and it kind of just folds right down. There's no like other way to finagle it. Seat off here. Just pull that out. Bungee it. course you could take this off showed you before and the pedals so it fits back of a wrangler 
All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Tell me what you think of the bike. Links are down below to try to pick one up, take a look at it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I know it's a sponsored video and all, but I've <laughs> really had fun with the bike. And I know my kids are already on it right now, probably taking it down the street. So I like the cruise control part. Works pretty good. If you want to just do one-handed or not have to you have a long distance to go, and you don't want to keep holding the throttle down, you can just work the brake up here and not worry about anything else. Anyway, that's it for this one. Come back later on. We'll talk about some more speakers coming up and some lighting. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you later. All right.